How's it going, bud? Welcome back to Dead State Reanimated with me, Noble. Now, uh, I will go ahead and say that as you can see, the doors open. I actually uh, went around and killed all the zombies because we we spent too many episodes here. I'm like, yeah, I really don't want to spend an extra episode if it takes too long in the basement. So I figured we'll do the looting first, then we'll head straight to the basement and figure out what's going on down there. So anyway, um, I also went to the truck and dropped off some stuff. I need to move this back. I had to pick a lot of doors, so that was kind of annoying too. Anyway, I did hit this desk, so there's no reason to hit that one again. It just had some medicine in it and uh, a few knickknacks. Things to make people happy. Alright. Actually, let's use Mr. Get. Let's give me a little hiccup there. Hopefully that won't be uh, too much of an issue in this episode. I hate to have hiccups the whole time. Matter of fact, I'm going to save it just in case I have bad hiccups and actually have to restart this. So if I don't, you know what happens. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Alright, we hit this place in the last episode. Whew. I don't know what it is. Whenever I do long videos or talk too much, I guess, I start yawning. So I apologize for that. This room was a bit of a surprise. There's like three zombies in there, so... That caught me a little off guard. There's only two here. As I said before, don't go to a hospital because that's where all the sick people are. <laughs> I also raided all the zombie corpses just to make sure there wasn't anything interesting on them. I already have medical equipment, so I really don't need those. Zombrex. Brought to you by Dead State. You know, the game, uh, uh, what is it called, um, that had the actual Zombrex in it, I'm, I'm, the name is slipping my mind, uh, not Dead by Daylight, it's, uh, shoot, what is the name of that game? With Frank West and all that, uh, anyway, you know what I'm talking about then, uh, you know, they had that Zombrex deal where you had to take the medication and stuff and everything was A-OK. -okay. Zombrex would have done a lot much uh, of an effect here in this world, too. But I guess uh, we don't really know the significance of this particular virus. Kind of wonder if the Zombrex is uh, the future of this land in such a way to speak. In the Because uh, we know the antibiotics will hold off the virus. But there's no official cure in this game yet. Because, you know, the, the infection just started. So, I mean, it wouldn't really... That was actually a lot of stuff in that uh, briefcase. Uh, the infection started... You know, they said it was a flu at first in the story of this game. And that everybody's like, oh, it's just a flu. It's not that big of a deal. Well, the flu expanded into what it is today in the game and killed everybody off. I don't know if I hit this one yet or not. Dictionary. I'm going to skip it because... Uh, we already had one of those to give to uh, uh, the veterinarian. Her name's slipping my mind right now. Okay, that one has an exit downstairs. We'll use this one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, that game with Frank West and stuff, uh, it's killing me because I wish I could remember the name. Oh, wow, okay, that was not expected. Uh, that game has a lot of uh, similarities to this one in the general sense of uh, what we got going on. Hello, friend. You came to visit. Well, we're just going to have to push. Ow. I have to push through you. The difference is, in that game, it was a small contagion outbreak from a government experiment. And in this one, no one knows the significance of uh, how it started. Huh? Not another one. If you give me my character first, I can get through this real quick. Alright. 
I've only played the first two games. I haven't played the uh, the other one. The uh, I think they're up to four or five now. Ugh. This this is chewing me up. I gotta figure it out. Give me a second. Okay, yeah, the Dead Rising games. Good grief. You're probably screaming at me in the comment section like, Why can't you remember the game? Dead Rising. There's so many games with the word dead in it that it's kind of hard to remember which ones are which sometimes. Dead State, Dead Space, Dead Rising, <laughs> Dead by Daylight. <laughs> oh, man, The Walking Dead. I mean, you take your pick. There's a lot of games and uh, movies and everything else with those kind of names. Let's actually get a look. Actually, there might be a survivor in here. This looks like the kind of thing you'd see uh, someone who's holed out in a room. The door's open, though, so either they got, uh, ran out or, you know, gave up. Maybe that's them. Maybe they came in here and it's like, screw it, I'm just going to lay down on this table until I die. There's the car park. Now the staircase, we can escape out of there if need be. Hmm. I'm actually really glad that we, uh, decided to clear out that other area first because this is going to be annoying as crap if uh, all these rooms are full of zombies. Oh, I was about to say, that's a weird uh, reception desk. Then I realized it's the MRI machine, so this is just a sub room. Alright. Hey, you guys! I feel like I want to use a noisemaker and just draw them all together at once and just slaughter the whole lot of them. Hmm. Eh, yeah, come on up here. Why not? Somebody's going to get slapped, but at least we're drawing them to us. I don't have a firecracker, so I might just use a gun to use it to draw them out with sound. It'd work. And unlike the noisy mausoleum, this one is working on multi levels. We saw some glitchiness there when I first transitioned. But uh, comparatively, though, we're doing a whole lot better than we did on the noisy mausoleum. I'm thinking noisy mausoleum must have been the first attempt at a multi level uh, mission. Mm, you don't have any sound makers. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna whack him in the head. Nope, you miss. I got that one. Your inventory is quite full, my friend. Well, that was a simple uh, turn of events there. Can't really complain on that. Alright, who's got the loudest gun? That would be you with the shotgun. We'll check out the MRI area first, and then we'll start blasting with a shotgun to try and get a... Try to see if we can't get a crowd together so we can just eliminate all the zombies at once. Well, nothing doing here. I was hoping there was uh, something in there, at least a zombie. Hello. Oh no, a zombie! I better use this shotgun! I'm gonna be really sad if he misses it point blank with this thing. <laughs> be like, Vic, I know I was talking to you up in the last episode because I don't really pay you much attention, but, you know, please at least do something effective. Well, it was fairly loud. I thought I'd get more than 40 decibels, though. <sighs> if I get a second shot off, it'll definitely put my decibels high enough to draw anything in the area out. Ow. 
80, good. That's probably high enough to get most of these zombies' attention. Shit. Yep, there they are. They kind of teleport to you at this stage, you know? It's like, hello, I'm here. You rang. Well, let's go for a little bit more noise then. That'll draw some in off the outside of the map, but pretty much guaranteed to get everybody that's down here over here now. Here they come. This man had nothing. Treader Doctor had nothing. I'll take those though. I hear footsteps. I think they're upstairs. Not what I was expecting. Ooh, that's a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna reload that shotgun while we're here. Let's actually pull out a little bit. I notice we're too zoomed in. I'm actually kind of glad we're not accidentally zooming into the upper floor. That'd be annoying. I feel like we got an item drop here. It's like, hmm. That's an interesting symbol. I feel like that's somebody's personal symbol. Like one of the developers. It reminds me of the one from, uh, if you play or watched uh, One Piece, the, uh, was it, Kizuku family, or whatever it is, with Mononosuke and everything. Kind of makes me think of their clan symbol. Alright, so far so good. Oh, locked door. Well, it's my turn. Any of this stuff is actually efficient. My halberd's probably more efficient than that uh, nail gun at this point. Man, we keep finding these empty bags. I don't need any of them. We got so many. Every character in our uh, it's town. I say town, but I'm talking about our uh, group of survivors. They could all have a medical bag if I just collected every one of them we've picked up so far. Good grief. We are having a bit of glitchiness, I've noticed. It's kind of hard to move the camera a little bit. It's like uh, stiff, if you will. There's the morgue. We've seen more dead people than we could shake a stick at, so. I would think with all the gunfire, we're cleared out of any open door area, so. Lovely things, lovely. Let's clip on through there, nothing to worry about. I mean, this is supposed to be the uh, hospital's, uh, like, trash storage area or something. It really doesn't look like it's been lived in as much as I thought it was going to be. Too much. Vic, can you handle it? Yes, you can. You're a strong man, Vic. Strong man. Back to me. Oh, hey, there's Survivor in here. Wait, no. No, he's definitely dead. 
Or she. I think I see some boobs. I did find an arrow, so I'm gonna set active real quick and just see if we can't pop this one. No? Okay. Oh wow, it's a double stack. Um over the lips and through the gums, spear, here it comes. Well, I'll take all that. Dead core. Starving corpse. Okay. Hit the wrong button. Wouldn't be a dead state game if I wasn't accidentally hitting the space bar. Maybe all those footsteps I was hearing with little guys grouping up like that. A little codeine. Choppy choppy. You chose wrong. This is why Gats is the man. Sorry, Vic. I know he talked to you up in the last episode, but Paul and uh, <laughs> Max Gats are pretty hard to beat in this game. You're a good shot, though, and you got your head on straight, and that makes things a lot easier for the rest of us. Or to hum. Hey, there is a survivor somewhere. Most probably our characters, but still. After us. Just because they shot him, uh, Paul shot him with the arrow doesn't mean they're going to go after Paul. We're so juicy and tasty. You guys just watch from over there. It's going to be a good show. I just realized I had Slash on. Change it back to basic attack. Not sure when I got uh, that activated. There's a lot going on in this basement. I honestly thought the basement was going to be a quarter this size. I thought it was going to be, you know, a morgue. I thought they might have uh, a couple rooms for, you know, looks like we got the surveillance room in here. But yeah, I mean, I, I thought there wasn't going to be much at all. And I'm actually quite surprised by the amount of uh, material in here. knock out these center rooms before we go back to that edge. Okay, we knock these out. We knock that one out. Pretty sure we knock this cabinet out because we'd hit that one. So yeah, we'll just come around here. That way we can end at the staircase. Get up, get out, get going, you know? 
Why is there a magazine rack down here? Maybe they intended this to be the first floor originally. That makes sense to me. Hey, you guys. They're probably like, we don't want to do three floors up. Let's just do two floors up and one basement down. So. Right, if I was game designing, I'd probably be willing to take a shortcut like that. Let's stand there and look good. I'll smack this one. Man, you are surrounded by death there, Mr. Zombie. Not that you care anyway, you're already dead, but still. <laughs> Doctor, not feel good. I'm gonna stand here and watch. Good job, Krillin. Thank you! Not the mama. As a matter of fact, somebody grabbed pistol bullets earlier. Uh... Who was it? Was it me after all? Huh. Oh well. Stack them all up, have less stacks to worry about later. Wow, the same newspaper I picked up 11 times already. Because you don't really keep old newspapers around, you know? So. Had to be the last day the newspaper was printed and handed out before the virus took over. Ran everything into the ground. We're getting a lot of little things. I'm actually quite enjoying this. It's kind of neat to see the cars above us, though. Carry all that good stuff. There you go, you're pincered in now. Can you imagine being trapped in the basement of some place like this if something like the zombie virus broke loose upstairs? It's like, oh, I'm in the basement of the hospital. Oh no, what am I going to do? Well, you ain't going to make it, that's for sure. You got a whole heap and helping of dead folk upstairs that want to chew on you. Still too heavy. Shit. Well, hey there, friend. You come to play? So everybody's just walking by, smacking you in the head. You just open the door to say hi, and we're just being mean, that's all. Just extra weight. 
Because Mishru did ask for surgery tools, but I gave her some already, so there's no reason to carry those. Is that it? Did we actually finish? I think we did. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We missed this one. It's time for me to come to the rescue. <laughs> Linden's box. There's communism in here. Alright, well that was a blast. Now he's got to make it out alive, because, well, we don't know what all those gunfire I did earlier, whether or not this place is full of zombies now. Could have put my own foot in my face, you know? Or, saying go foot in mouth. I want to grab an SUV and leave. Alright, we'll just grab ours. It'd been more efficient if these guys actually grabbed a couple larger vehicles, too. You know, a big rig or something to help barricade the front entrance. That would have been a smart idea, but whatever. I will say this. They do at least have the uh, mental fortitude to not park actually at the site, so you have to go back to your vehicle. Because if you actually bring your vehicle to wherever you're raiding, that kind of puts your vehicle at a chance to get uh, stolen as well. Not a smart idea. Cause somebody hears gunfire like man hey this vehicle looks like it just got here let me check out and see if they got anything good in it because you probably do if you're surviving boom got back yes A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. 17 antibiotics. Nice. Good Sir Knight, Sir Knight. I got four skill points. Time to drop another one in. Oh, we're still one shy from medical, though. Or two shy, that is. That's definitely going to be the next one I get maxed out. I'll probably spend some of the rest of this day actually going back outside and grabbing those veggies. I'll probably do that after an episode ends. That way it's not going to be uh, time consuming. Alright, so that's going to be about it for us. Uh, I went ahead and gave Paul 71 arrows, so he won't be running out anytime soon. That was a serious mishap in my uh, <laughs> problem because I did not pay attention to the fact that he was running low on ammo. And that's my bad. But yeah, thank you everybody for stopping by and joining me. If you like it, hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you like it, drop a comment below with your thoughts and opinions of this and other things. And uh, if you like it, hit that bell icon for future notifications. Uh, I generally try to upload uh, 6 a.m. Eastern Time normally. And uh, if you also get a chance, check out the uh, co-op videos I'm doing with my friends uh, on their, um, what's it called, uh, Twitch channels. Uh, it's uh, Borderlands 1, and we're having fun uh, messing our way through there. So if you haven't been watching that, you've been watching these, give that one a shot. Uh, but without further ado, take care, be safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.